Yo, after this workout, you'll feel like you're ready to knock out Mike Tyson. Here it is. Hey, what's going on guys? Old School Matt here, back with another Water Buffalo Training Method workout breakdown. Today, we're gonna be breaking down a boxing slash full body workout that I put together in one of our training programs. This is gonna be a sample workout from one of those. You guys can get a look at what it's like to train with the Water Buffalo Training Method. This workout is incredibly intense, incredibly insane. So let's just get down to it. If you're looking to take a little bit of a different route today in your training, if you're looking to get a full body pump, change things up a bit, I recommend that you try this out at home, at the gym, or wherever you got the ability to do so. So let's get into it. So we're gonna be starting off with a boxing type of workout. We're gonna start off with a combination of some sort. If you're familiar with boxing, I'm doing a one-two and I'm going up with the jab in reps or in punches every time that I do it. So I'm going one-two, so I'm going one-one-two, one-one-two. Um, so I'm progressively adding a jab and adding an extra round, quote unquote round or extra combination to the whole punching thing. So pretty simple. I'm gonna jab once, like I said from the beginning. So jab, cross, so one-two, and then go jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, that's two one one twos, and then three jabs, then across, so one 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 three, or one 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 two, uh, three times, and then four times, and then five times. So as you guys see here, I'm uh, starting to do the five jabs at once. That was kind of difficult, I just hit a marker over, nice. Um, but yeah, this is really gonna fire up those shoulders, you're gonna get the whole body moving. Recommend you use your legs, you know, move those legs as you move uh, throughout the movement, and make sure you're hitting that bag nice and tight, keeping the body tight, keeping the arms up, hands up. Uh, and using that uh, jab to kind of lead you to throw that right hand, which would be that one, two. So like I said, uh, you know, progressively moving up with one combination every time and adding a jab to each time. Uh, next, we're gonna be doing our upper body portion of this full body workout. So we're gonna be doing a pull up uh, slash dip superset. This is all gonna be within the first circuit again. Uh, so this is gonna be one after another. That's why it's super intense. I recommend two to three rounds of each, three rounds if you're a true buffalo. Uh, so we're gonna do that box combination, get into it, then we're gonna jump into pull-ups, right from pull-ups straight into dips. We're gonna be doing 10 pull-ups and 15 dips, or as many as you can do, up to you. If you could do more, do more. If you could only do less, do less. Um, so yeah, gonna hit those dips real quick. Really gonna be focusing here, guys, on the full you know, upper extremity part of our um, body. You know, Pull-up works the back, the traps, the rhomboids, the delts, the biceps, and the dips gonna work everything opposite, the chest, the deltoids, the triceps, and whatnot, as well as a little bit of abdominal stuff in there too. Um, next, we're gonna be moving to the lower portion. So we're not gonna be doing any type of like squats or anything like that in this workout. It's gonna be more of like a explosive boxer type of workout. Um, so we're gonna be doing calf raises here. I'm doing explosive barbell calf raises. I'm really trying to just get up on my toes as best as I can. I like to call them ballerina barbell calf raises but I'm not technically you know, on my big toe, so I'm, I wouldn't consider it ballerina, but ballerina style, you know, make sure you get on those tippy tippy toes as much as you can, um, and then try to hold that weight at the top as best you can too. And then we're gonna be jumping into our cardio portion of this full body boxing workout, whatever you wanna call it. It's a, it's a buffalo pump, that's what we're gonna call it. Um, so we're gonna be doing uh, some jump ropes here. I'm doing, do, do, gonna be doing jump ropes for about a minute here. Uh, I like jump ropes because it really works the whole body, in my opinion, if you're doing it for long enough. We're only doing it for a minute here, but remember we're gonna be doing two to three rounds, so it's gonna be two to three times of one minute jump ropes. Um, if you wanna get fancy, you can start you know, doing one, at, one leg at a time, skipping, uh, whatever you wanna do, do the tricks that you wanna do. And then next, guys, we're gonna be moving into our second circuit. So this is gonna be our hook uh, boxing combination. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be starting off with throwing hooks to the body, then hooks up top. Um, we're gonna be mixing it up and adding a rep each time. So I'm gonna be throwing two hooks at first, then I'm gonna be throwing two hooks again on the same side. We're gonna be doing that four times. Uh, so just like the jab combination, a little bit confusing, but once you get a hold of it, you'll understand. We're gonna be doing, uh, now we're gonna be going three hooks. So three, start with two, then go up to three. We're gonna be doing this three to four times each side. Uh, I like to do it at least three times on each side. You can do it as many times as you like. And as you see me, I'm gonna skip through it. So remember, two hooks to the body, pause, 
two hooks to the body, pause, two hooks to the body, pause, you can do four, or you can switch, so switch, two hooks to the body, pause, two hooks to the body, pause, two hooks to the body, pause, and then jump back to the other side, three hooks to the body, um, pause, three hooks to the body, pause, three hooks to the body, pause, and then the next side. Um, next, guys, we're gonna be jumping into our upper body portion of this boxing uh, workout. We're gonna be doing some burpees with a shoulder press. I don't know what these are called, I kinda just made them up. Uh, so I like this exercise because it allows me to be explosive. Um, kind of transfers into explosive movements. You'll see here, we're gonna be doing another one of these later in another circuit. Crazy ass pump, um, not gonna lie, my shoulders were on fire, my chest was on fire. So get a lot of shoulder and chest work here. Also a lot of explosive work. Um, trying to push up as fast as we can through those uh, dumbbells and really utilize our shoulders to uh, push us through this movement and getting those you know fast movements, quick movements and using the fast twitch muscle fibers. Next, we're gonna be doing a one-legged calf raise on a calf block. You can do it with a elevation if you want, uh, completely up to you. I'm doing it without any weights here. I'm just grabbing up top and I'm using the, the calf to literally push me up. Um, really trying to hold as best as I can my balance here. It's another great exercise to really work those calves. Uh, and another great exercise to add to our little circuit uh, slash giant set. Next is gonna be a, <laughs> um, a 200 meter sprint. I couldn't have looked uglier doing this, uh, but that's it, that's gonna end circuit three. Next guys, we're gonna be doing a uh, shadow boxing kind of combination. It's up to you, freestyle this one. I grabbed some weights to begin with, just throwing some random punches here and there. Um, and then I'm gonna be uh, dropping these weights in about a couple of minutes here. I think I'm gonna have it set for two minutes and then we're gonna be doing one minute of weights and one minute without weights. Uh, no, this isn't speed up, I just have quick hands. No, I'm kidding. Um, but so I'm doing golf boxing combinations, shadow boxing with weights and then drop setting for another minute without weights. Uh, completely up to you how you wanna do it. Um, you could do it without weights, you could do it with weights the whole time, up to you. Next is gonna be the upper body portion, upper body portion of this uh, giant set slash this circuit. Uh, gonna be doing clean and jerks. I think I did around eight to 12 here uh, in total for each of the three rounds I did. I think I started with eight and then I went up and did 12 for the last set. Um, clean and jerks, pretty simple here, just working on explosive movements. This is the exercise I was talking about, like the burpees. Um, you know, so push up through the shoulders, use those legs um, to kind of push you through the movement, but really focus on the shoulders and delts here. Uh, next guy is gonna be the buffalo calf raise. I have no idea what to call this. There's a lot of workouts in here that come from water buffalo training method that are pretty novel. So I like this exercise because I don't have a seated calf raise at home. It allows me to bend the knees and hit the soleus. So that's why I'm doing it. Um, kind of exploding up on the tippy toes here and really trying to hit those calves. Lastly guys, we're gonna be doing uh, in this circuit, we're gonna be doing sprints for a minute on the Stairmaster or wherever else you can. Uh, I know we did the 200 meter sprint. So if you're gonna, if you don't have a Stairmaster, do a treadmill incline run. Um, I'm trying to run as fast as I possibly can up these stairs for a minute, really trying to kill myself um, and getting it done, guys. So that's gonna be the workout for today. Uh, incredible workout, a lot of calories burnt. If you're doing cardio, you're trying to lose weight at the moment, uh, don't really worry about it too much. As you see my fat ass here, I'm finishing off that circuit. Um, but yeah, like I, again, like I said, incredible workout for today, super great pump, gonna burn a lot of calories. Um, really try to focus on getting as much engagement as you can with the upper body and lower body parts when you're utilizing them in the circuits, but also focus on the boxing aspect of it because that's an important part of this workout. Boxing is a great way to incorporate a lot of different muscles, muscles that you probably have never used before in your workouts. I like to throw a boxing slash full body day once every two weeks, maybe once every week if I have time. Um, it's really physically taxing, so it's gonna require you to do a lot of work, but it's worth it. I guarantee you, if you do this, you'll get incredible results, um, incredible soreness the next day, and uh, you'll feel great about yourself. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I hope you guys are enjoying our Water Buffalo Training Method Workout Breakdown Series. We appreciate you guys' patience on all our videos. We love you guys out there. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and check us out on Instagram, social medias, all gonna be in the link, links in the description, TikTok and whatnot. Hope you guys are enjoying this video and hope you guys are having a great day. Peace.